Hi everyone, Liz here. Thanks for stopping by. So today we've got three little boxes, so three little unboxings to do. Um, these are two generic boxes for diamond painting and this one is a little um, diamond painting project that I thought I'd give a try. I've been using coupons again, so um, I'm not sure that these are still uh, available with coupons, but you can still get them. They are all from Amazon. Um, I'm in the UK, so it's amazon.co.uk that I use, but you may find that you can use, um, if you're in other parts of the world, your Amazon as well. Okay, so let's have a look. Oh, what shall we do? What shall we do? Let's have a look in this little box first. It's a little bit grubby, and um, this is how it arrived to me. So, this one is a little bit different. It's not something I've had before from Diamond Paintings. And it's a little piece of, like, wall art. Okay, so we've got some special drills. Ooh, lots of shine. And they're quite big drills as well. Nice little toolkit there. So, let's have a closer look. And then this is the Diamond Painting bit. Okay, so, um, they've been around a while, these. These are, like, your... Uh, diamond painting pictures and this one is a beautiful colourful owl and I do like owls I've got a soft spot for owls well you know if you've watched any of my videos I love all animals and birds and things but owls are one of my particular favourites in the bird world um, as you can see lovely clear drill field with lots of different shapes and shapes oh look at that little face and those little sparkly eyes it is a partial so where there's no numbers, no little circles with numbers in, then it's not sticky. But where the numbers are, the letters are, then it is sticky. So, well, that's not sticky. That's, yeah. So it is just the owl that we're going to be doing, it looks like. Uh, lots of different shapes. I do like doing these in between as well. They're like special shapes, as they're called. Um and they just make a bit of a difference if you're doing a lot of one colour, if uh, you've got a lot of 310 or a lot of white um, V5 200s, which I'm doing at the moment. I'm doing a Scotty Dog canvas and the whole of the outline is B5 200s uh, um, and it's square. Uh, so, yeah, I was seeing those in my sleep last night. So it would be quite nice to pop on and do something like this in between. They're quite a quick little hit, as it were, just a quick little project to do a couple of hours maybe maybe an evening just sat in front of the tv um, and what you do with them once all your diamonds are on you just slot it it's got the cover on at the moment so it won't fit exactly slot it in there oh no it goes the other way around i do apologize it goes that way around which is why it fits better that way live and learn and then you have a clear cover a perspex cover which has has got plastic uh, covering on both sides if you can see that there so it's keeping it nice and fingerprint clean while you're doing it then that will just clip in there and then in your little tool kit <coughs> oh, excuse me have a bit of a cough today i have had a double covid injection so i know it's not that um if you're doing your diamond paint oh that's got a bit chewed up a little bit, a bit of um, opaque pink wax. It's not the greatest. Um, I tend not to really use the waxes very much, but yeah, so you've got enough there to probably to do this project. Just your basic pen with your single placer and your little green boat. And then you have your screws for top and bottom. And these, you've got little holes in the top there and the bottom as well oh that one just needs pushing out look just have to put a, a pin or something through that or even just the screw and they'll just yeah it just needs a really good push through it's just not quite come through enough push through there and then at one end you will put your little card oh that's pretty oh i've not seen that before that's like a little like macrame type knotted flower that we've got there that's um yeah that's quite pretty little card just adds to it and that will just go through one end and then you've got your tassel to go at the other i won't take it out of its packet at the moment it has got a little string on one end um and then you know once you take the plastic off you've got your tassel 
so that will just hang up so yeah i think that's a really pretty little project i like that I'll just have a look at the drills as well let's see those sparkles start off today with the sparkle why not need a little bit of sparkle in your life what is that little bit that's there it's driving me mad it's like a little bit of plastic that's just sticking to everything get out of the way right let's put these all back in this little bag otherwise i'm likely to lose them i'm not going to put the toolkit back in because i do keep those out separately um i do keep meaning to do something with all those and the schools will be breaking up for summer soon so i think i might have to wait until we've uh, fully broken up there that uh, fully gone back to school again and i'll see if we're going to school or the nursery we have like a preschool nursery roundabout us they might like them pop that in the bin I lost my bin there i've put it to the other side of me trying to be organized uh, and now i've tried to just chuck it on the floor because i thought that's where my bin was <laughs> Okay, so oh, we've got lots of different colours and things here. So we've got like a largest, large-ish gold colour, and like a pinky red colour in a larger size, and the blues, and then your little oh, they're nice. They're like champagne teardrops, I like those. And oops, some silvery round ABs. They're pretty. We like ABs. That coat in there. I'd love to one day go and see the Northern Lights. Um, we did go up to Scotland, well we've been to Scotland a lot of times and we went up to John of, John of Groats because sometimes you can see the northern lights from the, the northern tip of Scotland but we weren't lucky, to be fair it was still daylight at half past eleven at night while we were there so I think we'd have had to wait a long time um, and we had to get back, it was a five hour drive back to where we were staying <laughs> we just got a bit carried away that day on our adventures um, that one's like a ambery coffee brown colour, uh, nice green, these are just your standard little gems, they're like a, a nice sea blue colour, that's pretty, your standard little white crystals and a very bright gold one there. And then your other little packet has a darker blue, a hot pink, hot pink, yay! And another gold, and they are slightly different shades, are they? No, they're not really, are they? Let's have a look. Are they both? Uh, yes, they're both the same size, uh, the same number. So, phew, my eyes aren't deceiving me. That is two packs of eight that we have got. <laughs> <laughs> now then, where is the canvas number on this? Is there a canvas number on this? There's nothing on there, is there? Was there anything? No, I don't get worried with things like this. Oh, I want what's on the box. What's on the box? Oh, there it is. Look, it's on the box. Phew. Yep. Yeah. Ooh. No, not really. X01. No, it's not. So I'm going to have to make sure I keep those drills with this. Um, in fact, I think I'm going to put that in a bag. And put that number on it, and then I know what they are. So I use my little bag. These are my old card bags that I used to use um, when I was selling, making and selling greetings cards. And where's my little sheet gone with all of my things? These are printed from uh, four kids. Sorry, Admore Zest. It's called now. Uh, four kids at one four seven. Um, Rebecca and Megan kindly do a free download for these or you can buy these stickers from them just gives you um, the name, size, the shop and the cost of it so this was from uh, name we'll put owl, owl, what can we call it what can we call it um, plate I will call it a deco so a decoration and we need two because we need one for the canvas and the box and um, it's a special drill and we need one for the pack of drills that we're going to do as well um, it's a size oh we need to measure it I'll let you know and um, this one cost me seven pounds and 19 pence again with using the coupon I got it half price well slightly less than half price 
it would have been 15 99 and I got it for £7.19. And it is from the PAJ, uh, where's it gone? A V E R. You'll have to excuse me, my eyes are bad today. Um, my eye was bloodshot this morning, so having a little trouble seeing out of my right eye at the moment. But we get by, we just carry on. Keep calm and carry on, Liz, that's what we say. Right, let's just give this a measure. And it's round, so it should be <laughs> the same all the way across. Let's uh, put that up. <laughs> My tape measure's alive. Oh, gosh, and I've only just started doing this unboxing. Look, So that is 24 centimetres, which is nine and a half inches. So we'll put 24 cm round oh sorry i'm putting my head in the way again 24 cm round okay and we're going to put those I can't up now look it's stuck to the desk welcome to lizzie's diamond painting and how not to diamond paint uh, in this section this week i'm going to put that in with those as well so that we know that that belongs with those as well Okay, now well, yes, in this section we're going to show you how to stick things to your desk that shouldn't stick and how not to use a tape measure. <laughs> oh gosh, right. So I'm just going to peel this back in off. Now these are my own stickers and they're not brilliant. Um, Peeling them off is an absolute nightmare. So we'll put that on those and then I'm going to put that on the back of the picture. And then these will peel off and go into my uh, log book when I've finished. But at least now I'm organised. Okay, so I will put them in the box for now. But uh, I will put the drills into my drill bag later on. So that they'll be in a separate place. So that's that one. Okay, so that's number one done. I'll keep my scissors out actually because um, I think I will be putting labels on the others as well. Let's get organised. Yay! Draw on that over there. Okay, so which one, which one, which one? Let's do this one first. These are both from the same shop. Again, I've used a coupon and they are from Amazon. And they are from the I in store, which is E Y E I N I N D I Y diamond painting kits. Um, so we'll see. Uh, this one was one of them was four pound and five pence, and one of them was four pound fifty. Sometimes when I use um, the Vipon app, if you've watched my videos before. Um, that's V-I-P-O-N. I'm not affiliated with them. I don't get any commission or anything um, from them. But it, it just does help. Um, you just get a little bit of money off. Um, some of the Amazon paintings aren't the cheapest. But if you do actually use Vipon and see what offers are on, sometimes when you go onto the Amazon website, they're actually on offer anyway. And there can be extra fives and 10% off things. So it's always worth checking out. And it would be rude not to use coupons when they're there. So sometimes the coupons don't work. Sometimes they do. So as with most Amazon. I won't say all because I've not had them all yet. <laughs> but as with most um, Amazon paintings. They do come as poured glue. Ooh, this one looks a bit pixelated. So we'll have a look. So this one is, let me have a look, oh it's in a plastic bag, real soft plastic bag, so I've got no chance of finding the end on this one, let's get that off there, I won't be reusing that bag, I've completely stuck to me look, it's going to be one of those days, everything's sticking, okay, let's get all the diamonds out and the toolkit, and Oh gosh, I've been working on a bigger painting and now we're looking at a 30 by 40, which I presume this is. It looks a little bit small. Oh, 
Okay. Oh, well, yeah, it could be worse. It could be worse. So we have an, a jungle scene. Um, it's actually looking better on camera than it does close up. There's quite a bit of uh, confetti and mixing colours around here. Um, hmm. Actually, this is really strange. We've got a monkey. And that's an elephant. That looks like a sheep. <laughs> Look at this thumbnail. I don't think it can be a sheep. I'll have to look at the picture on the internet. I'll see if I can find the picture on the internet. Um, I don't know if you can oops, see that better. Gosh. Um, but yeah, that it can't be a sheep. From this distance, that looks like a sheep and that looks like a swan. I mean, that's a giraffe. And I presume these are possibly lions down here. But yeah, this isn't brilliant. It should be a lot, lot bigger. But for £4 and 5 pence, it was worth a try. It was worth a punt. And it's a bit of fun to do. Um, and it may look better when it's done. Sometimes colours don't stand out. Uh, because it's poured glue, you can uh, easily flatten it out. All this crinkling is actually just the plastic that's on top. So we're just giving it a bit of a release. Just helping it on its way there. There you are. It just flattens it out a little bit more. Get those air bubbles out. There's a big air bubble there, look. Just do that. I should have got my straightener. I have got a straightener somewhere. But I tend to keep it downstairs in my little um, crafting cart that I've got that I wheel about all over. But it doesn't wheel very well upstairs. <laughs> It's like the old style Daleks, if you watch Doctor Who, it can't go upstairs. Right. Okay. So, yeah, I mean, it's okay. A little bit disappointing. 25 colours. Um, I suppose we can see the main guy, which is the elephant there. Is that a panda in the middle there? Oh, I'll have to get the proper picture. That's definitely a monkey, I presume, between the tree. <laughs> All right, we've got... Um, a green boat, your little square of that looks like a pick wax, um, just a single placer. But we, oh, they're quite big baggies. That's quite um, bigger than normal. Yeah, a few little lock, uh, some zip seal bags there. So always come in handy for your diamond painting. So just do it a quick measure. As I say, it's 30 by 40. It probably will be the canvas. It usually is with your poured glue ones. So it is actually... Yeah, just under 35, which is 13 and a half inches-ish by uh, just under 25 centimetres, which is nine and three quarter inches. So, yeah, you, you lose about five centimetres because of the border uh, quite often on these pictures. So, oh, elephant. Right, let's have a look at the drills. These look... Um, quite good check that we've got the right code yeah we've got the right code and we have got dmc numbers on the canvas but not on the drills but that's fine i usually photocopy these um key codes down the side here and add those onto my boxes so when i'm putting down i can just use that okay. to these. sorry about the drinkling the dustman wonder what on earth my plastic is that i've got blue bin day again today absolutely chocker full and um, in fact i nearly had to ask a neighbor if i could put some in his bin and he's probably thinking what on earth is she doing with all that <laughs> okay so there's no dmc code so gosh looks pretty good quality drills Let's have a look that's your three tens there that's your black and, and no, I can't really see any extra bits. They look pretty good. I've got like a gingery colour, like a sagey greeny colour, like that one. A burgundy, oh, nice grey. I hope that's the elephant. And like a pale pinky creamy colour. They're very sparkly, these gems. Like a rusty brown colour and a darker rusty brown colour. A uh, nice blue, a uh, brown there, chocolatey brown, very dark grey, very dark green, 
It's a bit darker brown. Oh, that's more chocolate. That's the chocolate I like. Uh, no, don't eat your drills. <laughs> and then that's quite a fun little colour there. I can't think of a name to call it. Cream beige. Beige. Uh, nice sort of aqua blue. Another brown. Lots of browns. Another blue. I presume these will be the sky. That's a lovely blue. Oh, and that's one of my favourite colours. That's like that really pale greeny colour. Just from white to sort of greeny blue. And then another aqua. And a nice sunny yellow. And then, oh, we've got a scrunched up orange there. So we've got a browny colour and an orange. I think these might be the giraffe. And a brown, three browns. So, yeah, okay. They do look pretty good condition, the drills. And nice strip packs as well. So they're easy to kit up, easy to put into your little containers and again i'm going to put these into a bag and label this so if you don't want to see me just writing this out again and um, then please feel free to just fast forward um, i do apologize for doing this but when i did an unbagging not so long back i forgot to do this and then it took me i had to watch my video to see <laughs> what my drills belong to <laughs> okay so this is uh I'm going to put jungle on this one and it's a round, I've just put square, it's a round and it's a 30 by 40 and it's the eye in store and the cost of this one, what did I say it was, £4? Pound. Yep, £4 pound and 5 pence reduced from £8.99 so that was with a coupon so for four pound it was worth a punt you never know i don't think i'd have paid nine pound for it i think i'd have been a bit disappointed because the size is that little bit too small really but it's worth getting and having a look and i do like having a look at new companies as well i've not done one of this uh, company's diamond paintings before so it's always nice to try new ones um, particularly when it is a poured glue company because I don't like the poured glue and um, so the one I'm doing at the moment is a double sided tip and I do struggle because I don't like to slide my drills about sometimes <laughs> okay so I'll put those on that pack there oops there we know one that belongs to and what I do with these canvases I've got um, a big A3 folder and I've got an A2 for, no I've got an A1 size folder as well um, but these go in like an A2 size folder and it just goes in between the mattress and it just flattens it out so when I come to work on it it will be completely flat but I think it'll be a while before I get round to doing that one okay so that's that one done and let's have a look at the next one. Uh, the next one. It does come uh, in a nice sturdy little box. It's just a generic box, a diamond painting box, with your destructions on it, telling you what to do. But uh, yeah, you know, it came in good condition. So a thumbs up for that one. Bit of rubbish again. Get rid of that. So let's have a look at the next one again. Oops, is that any easier to open? Yeah, from the same company. Um, I E. And this one, let's have a look, it's poured glue again, which is nice to see. Oh gosh, where's the end? Where's the end? Come on. Where's the end? <laughs> there it is, there it is. Got it, got it. Ha, you can't hide from me forever. Gotcha, gotcha. Ooh, don't we come off there. That's it, got it. that looks like consistency there we've got the same type of drills the numbers are a little bit bigger on that one um, same toolkit again yep yeah. and it's got the bigger baggies in it again the same so that's nice and so came in a nice sturdy box as well and this one is a blue elephant it's a blue elephant it's not a pink elephant it's a blue one so 
that's pretty good actually this again is a 30 by 40 but because it's just one big picture in the middle rather than lots of little animals all crunched in then i think this is going to be quite effective when it's done and again poured glue and the wrinkling isn't on the canvas it is just literally on this plastic on mm. the top as it's been folded so let's try and and i'm actually making this worse <laughs> Do this, get this one, and that's it. Just a bit of a flatten out so you can see it. I will say the drill field doesn't look quite as clear on this one, but we'll have a look close up, looking from this distance. I'm thinking the colours, uh, it is a little bit more difficult to see. I've got a little pink patch in the middle. I wonder if it's embarrassed. I wonder if uh, when elephants get embarrassed, it's not the cheeks that go up and gets the head. <laughs> I think we've got a nice flower down here as well. We've got the little thumbnail there. Yeah, I mean, it's a full drill, so... Oops. Can get that. Yeah, you can just about get a nice flower down there. Uh, let's have a look at the drill field while we're up here, see if we can get it without so much glare okay that's it yeah they're a little bit harder to see um i think the dark on the blue and the c is a little bit pale and the number three is on the black uh down here sorry you're getting a little bit of glare there um yeah so but not too bad um i do use so I've got a magnifying light, so I do use that, and it works wonders. I can down and paint an awful lot faster now because I'm not having to sit there trying to figure out what um, symbols are anymore. I'll give that a good flatten later on. I won't keep doing it now, otherwise I'll drive everybody nutty. Uh, it's 22 colours, this one. And let's just measure it again. I think we're about the 25 by 35 mark. Yeah, that one is 25 centimetres that way and just under 35 centimetres that way. So, yeah, again, we've lost five centimetres for the edge. But that's not bad. That's, you know, what did I pay for this one? So, this one was, instead of 9 99 it was £4.50. Pence. So, for £4.50, I think that's pretty good. Quite... Uh, and it's poured glue so it'll be a nice one to do a nice quick one I tend to find that these take me if i do a couple of hours every day maybe three four days sometimes up to a week i mean there's no race when you're diamond painting you just do it at your pace um, i say my light and my um magnifier make things so much easier for me right Okay, there's uh, DMC codes are on the canvas there, on the key code. Um, yeah, they are a little bit blurry, that key code. I must admit, it's not so bad looking through the camera, but actually looking at it in real life. So I may have to enlarge that um, when I kit up, but we'll see. Okay, so we'll start off. We've got a nice, like a corally pink, and then like a very what's that? Uh, winey colour. Yeah, let's go wine. Like grey and blue. I've never seen a blue elephant. And like an aqua colour. Oh, that's nice. Look at that. A nice deep purple. That's a really pretty colour. And hot pink, hot pink. Oh, you don't very often get it in the drills like that. And then like a rusty reddy colour. A nice blue and a dark sort of midnighty blue, and some more various brownie rusty colours, and a dark grey there. Oh, another pink. That's not quite a hot pink, but that's a nice pink colour, and a lighter pink. Oh, my favourite again. Look that little lighty greeny whitey colour. More blue and aqua, and that's a hot pink, hot pink, and then another white. Ooh, lots of colours, and then just two separate ones. A blue, which again is a nice, like sea, deepish blue. I used to have a car that colour, um, and like a fawny, browny colour. So 
so yeah and they do look nice quality these drills so quite looking forward to doing this one i do like uh, hella flumps as well i've seen quite a few hella flumps not in the wild of course um but in like safari parks and things um, and when we went to america we went to a safari park there and there were some hella flumps there as well really nice animals okay so let's uh, do another quick label so this one is i'm going to put blue and i'm just going to call it an ellie yes i can spell elephant i'm not very good at spelling but i can spell elephant but i'm just calling it an ellie and it's a 30 by 40 and it's the i in store again and this one cost oh my brain four pound fifty goodness me when I put it into my logbook, I will put extra uh, details on as well. But just for now, this will just fill this in. I do put when what when I ordered it um, and when it arrived. But these are actually from Amazon. So I ordered them one day and they arrived the next. Um, I did actually say get these in May. But I did look on the website and I know definitely, oh, sorry, on Amazon.co.uk, the blue elephant is definitely still in stock because I did see him or her might be a her carrying a flower the blue elephant okay and put those jewels in there stick into things again because these bags have been used before um, I'm all for recycling and not throwing things away so that's this unboxing for now just pop those out the way over there so we have like a, a jungle scene we have a blue elephant and we have our nice little owl decoration okay well i hope you've enjoyed seeing these and um, if you want to see me kit them up or working on them or uh, even when they've completed then if you press that subscribe button down there you'll be able to pop back you'll be notified uh, when my next videos come up and if you've enjoyed seeing these just give me a like it just helps me out with youtube but with that thanks for watching thanks for stopping by and i'll see you all again soon bye for now